Lynch, miss me loads. I look slightly ill. That's my attempt at a wink. Oh, wow. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to another video. I'm at home. I know, exams are finished. I feel like a new person. I feel like I've had this lease of life. I didn't realize how exhausted I was for the last couple of weeks. That's something I've definitely noticed since I came back, I've been knackered. It's like when you don't have that adrenaline rush that's keeping you going to the next thing, to the next thing, to the next thing, and you just stop, you just go, oh my God, I'm knackered. But it has been really nice to just do some normal things and not feel guilty that I have to go home and study. So now we are at the Bunclody Golf and Fishing Club in Bunclody. <laughs> God help me. <laughs> so me and my mother, should I say, are at the golf and fishing club just for a bit of a stroll in between my break from work. I know, work. Me, work. I've been in college for like five years. Everybody's like, are you ever going to get a job? I have one. Thank you. Thank you all. How much did you miss me, mommy? glasses. Oh. Jesus, you have no idea. She missed me loads. Yeah, loads, yeah. Mammy is like me when I first started vlogging. I couldn't pick up the camera and speak. Every time we put the camera on somebody, they just goes <laughs> But this is the walk that we're doing today. It's essentially a wooded walk the whole way from the entrance to the golf course up to the clubhouse itself, which is really, really lovely. Loads of trees and vehicles. <laughs> and hopefully we'll get some really nice views of the actual course itself because the weather is stunning today. But we don't have any Rosie today. She's at home in the shade. It's simply too hot to have her walking. She'll kill us when she knows that we walked yeah, here. She She'll did. be really upset, so don't tell her. I won't. I have no eyebrows today. <laughs> That's why I look slightly different. Eyebrows are everything. I look like a different person. I look slightly ill. <laughs> Just in case anybody was wondering how excited and happy I am to be finished exams. <laughs> I'm this happy. How pretty is that? You can occasionally be very guilty of taking for granted things that you have on your back door, but the golf course is stunning, it always has been. To be able to just come down and do a walk like this by a lake with everybody just having a really chill Tuesday golfing away. Is it Wednesday? It's yes. Wednesday. Tuesday. I left my brain in England. <laughs> Take two. It's nice to see everybody just having a really chill Wednesday, just golfing in the sun and us having a stroll. It's just nice. It's what I've been really looking forward to. Just to feel a bit of peace that the exams are done. I still have to do a dissertation, but we won't worry about that right now. Worry about that on Friday. A few days holidays first. Can you hear that? All the birds singing. That's one thing I noticed when I moved to London and even being in Bournemouth that you don't hear the birds sing as much as you do here. Every morning you're woken up and sometimes it's really annoying. <laughs> but when you stop and actually listen, it's one of the things that you miss in a city when you don't have it all the time. I feel like I'm turning into a real hippie, mommy. I'm becoming one with the land and the trees and the birds and... <laughs> I have to this time next year. <laughs> you tree hugger, you. <laughs> I'm okay with that. So y'all know that I've been absolutely dying over the Great British Bake Off and just binge watching it on Netflix when I should have been studying for exams. So now that I have time, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna buy myself a cake tin and I'm gonna learn how to bake. Mary Berry will be proud of me. I'm gonna make an absolutely epic Victoria sponge today. We'll go for this one. And do we need anything else? A pallet knife and a piping bag if we have one. Oh, how cute. I found a piping bag, which is really great, and I forgot my purse. <laughs> I forgot it. That's my attempt at a wink. Utensils, check. Ingredients, next stop. And... Ingredients, check. Naturally enough, you're all familiar with the fact that I'm not one to get face arms, legs out in the sun very often. But I have come outside today because I wanted to survey the land. I mentioned that we are going to be putting in a vegetable garden here at home. And I really want to start laying out what exactly we're gonna put 
where and how it's gonna go down. So we're thinking about popping it here at this big unused plot at the back of the house. We're lucky, so, so lucky that we have tons of space to use and we really are trying to become as self-sufficient as we possibly can. So we are in the process of getting bees, setting up our vegetable garden, reducing single-use plastic. There's so many things that we have going on here at home. I probably should do a separate video on it all, really. But I'm so excited. Just a little update on the bee situation. Mam actually got a Facebook message back from one of the local beekeepers uh, very close to our house and he has given us the number of two people who will be able to provide us with a starter kit hopefully the bees and hopefully the house that the bees live in and we're fairly clueless at the moment so we're looking forward to learning more and figuring out how we can go about keeping them keeping them healthy so we could actually have bees at some point within the next two weeks in our garden making fabulous Local as local can be, honey. Oh God, that's amazing. <laughs> Did you know that I miss you loads? Aww. You're picture perfect, aren't you? Aww. Kisses. No, you'll be slobbers. Inside now. Good girl, it's too hot. So she's gonna go for a dip, even though she's one of those dogs who doesn't like water. Oh, she's very cute. Oh. Oh, right. hey, oh my god! Get it go! Whoa! That was really slow. <laughs> you can take the dog to the river, but you can't make her stay clean. Those little feet. Rosie, what are you doing? Oh my god! You have to stay outside for a while now. I've become one of those crazy bakers that sits at the oven and watches everything happening. Oh my god! They seem to be rising really well. And they're very flat, but. I don't think I left enough of a dip so far, so they're kind of dome-shaped. We'll see. Uh, we, will, we would go out in week one of the Bake Off. We would be those people. <laughs> we, I, <laughs> you, you did, you helped! <laughs> it's, it's okay. It did. It's okay. It's, it's, it's okay. okay. I'll eat it anyway. There's no fear of that. Yeah. Eat They'll be them. eaten, but they're not the best things I've ever made, so I'm not going to show you. <laughs> this is one of them, which is actually not too bad it didn't rise enough i don't think i need to work on getting a better rise on it and the second one is still in its tin cooling down and we got a big bubble on this side and this side is much lower but in terms of texture it's quite good hit me back mary mary yeah hit me up mary <laughs> <laughs> we will wait till they're cooled and assemble and see how it looks but they're not bad for our first attempt and we've learned loads yeah. so that's good but even looking at those cakes I need to go to the gym now. I make a pre on the vlog. Everybody shield your eyes. <laughs> this should be fun. Well, if there's one thing for certain, going to the gym never does get any easier. I don't think it's supposed to though. No pain, no gain, I suppose. I just got out of the shower and put the final cake together. I'm not entirely dissatisfied with it. Have a look at this. That is my First attempt at a Victoria sponge, and I think it looks quite nice. Obviously the top one was a little bit smaller because I didn't have two cake tins that were the same size. Super clever of me, and we didn't put in jam because Mammy is not a mad fan of tons of jam. But I think it looks okay. Now we'll have to see how it tastes. Oh wow, look at that inside of that. I'm very, very pleased with that. A tiny bit more of a rise. 500 calories please. Thank oh. you. Well that cake turned out absolutely fabulously. I couldn't be any more pleased with it for a first attempt. Plenty to work on. And I think I'm gonna end the vlog there and say good night. It is actually 10 o'clock and this is how bright it still is. It's mad. My body clock is all over the place. And yes, my room is absolutely disgraceful because again, when you move house and you move back, everything goes everywhere and completely out of the suitcase. So I have a lot to be working on over the next few days. Thank you everybody so, so much for watching. I think it's going to take me a couple more days to get finally settled into myself and my normal routine and figure out what the next move is. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't already. And I will be talking to you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.